Hey there, Chris. I'm back with a demonstration video of the Prexizo rechargeable laser distance measure device. So we're going to go ahead and play with this a little bit, and I'm going to go through some of the functionalities, or at least the basic functionalities, the kind of stuff that I will use. So you can see uh, right here, we're just going to turn it on by the on button. How novel of an idea is that? And now you can see that the device is on. I'm trying to make sure we can see it on the camera. Let's see. Is that there you go that's a little better so you can have you have three different reference points up here you can see right now it's measuring from the back of the device and then you can go ahead and measure from the middle of the device or measure from the end right by the laser so whatever your kind of uh, preference is when it comes to that either you know again measure right from the front from the back or the middle I'm gonna keep it at the front that just seems to make the most sense to me Okay, then you've got your ability to change the uh, units. And actually what I'll do is first I'll take a quick measurement and then I'll change the units. It's just a little easier to see that way. So you can see the red laser, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just click. Okay, and it tells me it was um, 0.725 feet, right? And I can adjust the units. And then you see it changes to 0.221 meters. Uh, 8 inches and 11 sixteenths, and then 8 and 11 sixteenths, or 0.725 again. My preference is right here where you've got feet and inches and then your fractions. So that's where I'm going to keep it. So let's go ahead and just take another measurement. And you can see then we're at 1 foot and 4 inches. Now you can take that and you can add another measurement to that 1 foot 4. So I'll measure over here. Now... Again, that was 1.4 and 1 8th, and again, adds them together, and you're at 2 feet and 8 inches. So that's a cool little feature. You can use the minus feature the same way. Obviously, it's just going to take away instead of add on, right? So nice, easy functionality when it comes to that. This button right here with the four squares, if you start clicking that, that's what allows you to do like an area. So it's showing a square room over here that's flashing, and you can take one wall, the next wall, the next wall, and the next wall. Okay, and then this is a cube, kind of the same thing. It lets you take your different, tells you kind of which, you know, walls or measurements you're taking. That's where you can do your triangle. Your Pythagorean theorem is right here. And then you click back another type of triangle measurement and another one, and then we're back. So those are what that allows you to click through. So I want to get out of there, so I'm gonna turn it off with a long press on the power button. Um, it will time after time, it'll turn itself off anyway, but the long press is gonna turn it off uh, more quickly. So let's go ahead and take another measurement here quick. And then you've got this button, which is your saving button. So it lets you save, I believe, up to 30 um, different measurements on the device if you want to save them. Okay? Uh, other than that, you do have this little level bubble. So obviously, when you're doing your measurements, you would like to try to keep that somewhat level. I mean, based depending on what you're measuring, of course. So very easy to use. Uh, cool little device. I mean, I look forward to using it um, just to help measure walls and to find center points of walls to, when we're hanging things up primarily. That's where the USB-C plugs in to charge it. Like I said, other than that, you've got a little spot where you could mount it onto a, a tripod if you wanted to, but it's just a nice, compact, really cool little device. So again, Prexizo is the brand, P-R-E-X-I-S-O. And I think it's uh, you know, a cool little device, and I look forward to using it and having it in my tool bag. Thanks.